What's going on guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy and welcome to a video. So in this video, I would like to talk about video game preservation. Now what the fuck is that? Well, let me fucking tell you. Video game preservation is basically where video games are preserved, obviously. And what does that mean? That means like the game data and the game files are there for anybody to enjoy at any time. And that shit right there is going away. It's slowly dying. And what do I mean by that? <laughs> well, I have plenty of examples. Uh, and by plenty, I mean like at least two, maybe three. So, let's talk about them. So the first thing I made a video on before was... Sony decided it would be a great idea to get rid of the PlayStation Store for PS3, PSP, and PS Vita. That in itself is fucking stupid. Um, because look at all those games. All those great games. Yeah, a lot of them are physical. You can buy them at, you know, anywhere. Buy them at GameStop, maybe, you know, Amazon, eBay, anywhere. A thrift shop. You can buy them pretty much all over the place. And they're cheap, too, because they're old games that not a lot of people care about anymore. Um, hell, when, you know, the PS4 came out, everybody started switching over. And they got rid of their PS3s and their games to make way for the PS4. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of games on there. I was looking through the list uh, a little bit ago, like a few months ago. And it's not like it's going to change anytime soon, you know, with that. Because, I mean, Sony doesn't give a shit. Um, but there are some you know, digital only games. And what do I mean by that? What do, I, what do I mean by digital only? Well, I mean video games you can only get digitally. There's no physical copies known to exist. And if, they, it, you know, basically if it's gone, it's gone for good. The files will be deleted and there's no way or hope of getting them back. Now, it, and video games are also, you know all these videos that are like lost media and you know things like that where TV shows and movies and music tend to lie and things like that where they're lost in time and space. Well that's where video games are headed with you know Sony getting rid of the PlayStation Store for PS3, Vita, and Portable. And I get it. I get, I totally understand why they want to do this. I mean, no one cares about the PS3 anymore. It's been there since the almost beginning, if not the very beginning. So it's, it's, it's a long ass time. It has been so many years since that even happened. Since, you know, they actually had a store and there's a goat. But I digress. So. You know, the problem with that is, you know, once it's gone, all those files are gone too. And sure, you probably could, you know, if you had a jailbroken PS3, you might be able to salvage some of those games by downloading them to your console. But I wonder how much of that actually goes through, like, the PlayStation Store or something like that, or goes through some other means to download, you know, those games. So that way you can have them on your system. And my friend DJ, he used to do that all the time, you know, on his, on his PS3. He used to, and I, I mean, he probably still does to, very rarely, but he does sometimes, uh, download games to his PS3 for free via that way. I mean, I know where some people are coming from. Oh, but isn't that piracy? You, you know, you're, you're getting a game for free and whatever. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about piracy. And I'm pretty sure these video game, you know, the pe people that preserve video games don't care either. I mean, hell, if Sony doesn't give a shit, Sony doesn't fucking care, okay? If they are going to get rid of something like this, the PlayStation Store, for the PS3, PSP, and PS Vita, where 
you know, a lot of games are, a lot of them are, you know, physical, but some are digital. Then why should we? You know, and Sony isn't looking to preserve the, you know, preserve, pre eh. they're not looking to preserve these games themselves. I mean, think about it. If Sony actually cared about preserving the past, don't you think that they would not be considering shutting down the servers for the, for the stores? Don't you think that they would make an active attempt to go on like archive.com or whatever? I forgot what the website's called. It's, 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 uh, blah. it's ar uh, archive something. And, you know, add those games to the list. Now, for those of you that don't know what Archive is, it's basically a national museum of, you know, digital media. So, songs, video games. I mean, how when the Wii shut down the Wi Fi, for, you know, when Nintendo shut, uh, shut down the Wi Fi for the Wii and DS. You bet your fucking ass all the DLC, well, most, if not all, the DLC for the Wii games and DS games, as well as the DSiWare and the WiiWare and things like that were put on there because, you know, Nintendo didn't give a shit. Nintendo didn't care enough to preserve the games themselves. And I get it, it was probably too expensive to, you know, do it. You know, to keep the games good and the servers up and running. I get that, but, however, that does not mean that you shouldn't make an active attempt. If you're going to get rid of the servers, at least have some way for these people to play, you know, all these digital only games, you know, like DSiWare, WiiWare, things like that. And that's where video game uh, preservationists come in, you know, they do that kind of shit. Now that we talked about Sony and their bullshit. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I mean, you may be able to salvage it with a jailbroken PS3, but I don't know a lot of people that would get a PS3 just for that. I mean, I would. I would totally get a PS3 just to salvage all this media. Um, I'd get the highest you know, gigabyte I could for the system, then I will just do nothing but download games to the PS3 after jailbreaking. Because, hell, Sony, Sony doesn't care. Anyways, so there's that. But I was also, I, I just watched a video not, uh, not that long ago about Did You Know Gaming. They made a video about uh, Japan and how the video game preservation shit on there is pretty bad. A lot of these games are about to go away. Now, what am I talking about? Well, there is, it's mostly about Japanese phones and phone providers and things like that. Uh, think about the iPod, when certain models of the iPod had a scroll wheel or whatever the fuck they called it, where you could, in theory, play some games on your iPod back when the iPod was still massively popular. And you could play games on it, but nowadays with that being gone and no one caring about it anymore, it's hard to, you know, preserve those games. Some of them may have been, you know, saved, but, you know, others, not so much. And the sad fact is, it seems like not a lot of people care about video game preservation until it's too late. Un or until the time is running out. Like, nobody really even really seemed to think, or as far as I know, no one really seemed to care or think that, oh, we should preserve these games as soon as possible because Sony might do something down the line where they're going to get rid of the service or things like that. They're going to get rid of PSN, they're going to get rid of this and that. And it's going to suck once it happens. And it will happen. I am about to use my PS3 um, as video game 
at, at, well, the PS3 that I have right now, I'm going to use as a video game preservation sort of thing. All the games that I have, I can possibly download right now, and DLC as well, I'm going to add to my PS3. And so that way, I at least have some games that could be salvaged if they aren't already salvageable. Um, think about some of those PlayStation mini games. Like, um, let's see, what was that one game? I don't know, but there are a couple of PlayStation mini games you can only play on PS3, PSP, and Vita, and things like that. Once that's gone, they are gone. There's no physical releases for those. And it sucks, but it's true. There is no physical copy of these PlayStation minigames. Maybe like one or two of them in a whole list, but there's a whole fuck ton of them. Um, it sucks, but it's true. And, you know, Adobe Flash, when that was, you know, left, the sad thing is, most of those Flash games, either on websites or in general, games that ran on Flash, are gone now. You can't play them right now. There needs to be a way where you can play Flash games, even when Flash is dead. Which it is, it's dead now, but, you know, nobody ever really seemed to think about preserving Flash games under some other format so that way people can actually play them once the servers are shut down and shut down for good. Now, it is possible, I would say, maybe, to bring some of these things back even when they're gone. There might still be a way. And right now, I don't want it to come to that. I don't want people to be like, oh shit, I completely forgot to preserve this game or that game. Anybody that's a video game uh, preserver out there, anybody that preserves video games out there, or if you know someone, whether it be on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, send them this video, tell them, spread the fucking word. Spread the entire word. Every word that you possibly can spread, you fucking spread it. Video games need to be preserved. As soon as it comes out, as soon as any game comes out, any new game on the Switch, any game on the PS4, Xbox One, PS3, PS2, every single game in existence, mobile games even, they need to be preserved. You never know when those servers are going to get shut down and you will never see those games ever again. Those games the games that people grew up on, the games that people loved, they used to play religiously every fucking day, could be at risk, and you just don't know it yet. So what we need to do, what all of us need to do, not just as gamers, but as historians of the past, we need to make sure these games do not ever be forgotten. Make sure everybody has the right to download these games and experience them. You know, newer generations aren't going to know what Flappy Bird is. Older, you know, older generations do, but newer ones won't. Newer generations aren't gonna know what Angry Birds is. You know, newer generations aren't gonna know what fucking, you know, other games are because they were taken away from us before we could share and spread the word of these games and have our future generations play them. They should be available to everyone. And I mean everybody. And to those of you that worry about piracy, fuck that. Who gives a damn? I mean, we are preserving the past here. Sony doesn't want to do it. Nintendo doesn't want to do it. Microsoft probably doesn't want to do it either. You know, the Japanese mobile market. They don't want to do that either. Nobody wants to do it. And so it's our job to make sure these games stay available for everybody at any time. And some, you know, some of the games that run only on internet. Well, make a new server for some of these games so people can still play them. Remember when, uh, again, when Nintendo shut down the Wi-Fi and all that for the Wii and DS. Well, 
you can still play Smash Brothers and Mario Kart online because people have found a way to do it. And now, it's our turn. We need to make sure every single game that is at risk gets the care and love it deserves. And in the future, if or when Sony gets rid of the PS4 and things like that in the future, because you know that they will, make sure these games get preserved as well. Physical, digital, it does not matter. All these games need to be preserved. And it's a, it's a shame that, you know, these big companies aren't doing it themselves. And I get it. You know, they don't have to do it. But I think it sucks that they are doing it in the first place where they're getting rid of so many great games that, you know, unless you got them backed up on a PS3 or something like that, on, you know, you can't really play them. Like, and they actually made a, uh, on Digital Gaming, they made a good point where imagine if every single NES game was not available to you anymore because nobody decided to preserve them. What if Nintendo games were not preserved? You know, we wouldn't be playing the classics. We, and since the NES is old enough that a lot of, you know, they're becoming old to the point where they're not gonna work and the games are starting to have problems and things like that, we need another way to play these games. And by preserving all these games, we can, in fact, and indeed, do this. So I ask every single one of you guys and gals out there, preserve the past. All of the past. All the games. Preserve them all. Because, I mean, these are the games that have shaped friendships. These are the games that spawn communities. These are the games that if, once they're gone, most likely they're gone for good. You will never get the experience to play or see these games ever again. You'll never get the experience and the enjoyment of playing these older games that you know, once thought no one cared about. Future generations must know about these games. So we, as a society, and as a community, can fully enjoy these games once again. And for all time. So anyways, guys and gals, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like if I'm fun too. Um, you know, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing, and don't forget to subscribe, and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams, and whatever the fuck else that I do. Follow me on Twitch, because I do some live streams on there occasionally. And, as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And, bro hoof. What we need to do is preserve the past. All these games need to be saved. <laughs>